Continuing with our basic rendering examples, if we take a look at EK125202, this is our font rendering example, uh, well actually font text. Now what this example will do is basically denote how each browser will render individual fonts differently. And we can note this here by the actual example. You'll see that what we have is a text layer. So this will render as native text dependent on the actual browser. And underneath the text layer, what we have is a red image of the actual text itself. This is just a copy that we've uh, set to basically stand out apart from the actual text that's rendered in the browser. So if we just go ahead and export this, we'll take a look and see how the browsers treat the fonts differently from Photoshop itself. Once our export is complete, we can navigate to our output folder and just actually take a look at the font rendering example. Now you'll see that in Explorer, Photoshop itself, it will actually denote the text and the spacing um, <laughs> very different from the actual browser. You'll see Explorer, the black text here, this is how Explorer rendered the text that we created in Photoshop. Now you'll note the size of the font is relatively the same, they don't look that much apart, but the spacing is very much different. And let's take a look at Firefox to see how they treat this. Now Firefox, you'll see, it also renders the font very differently. Um, the spacing is, is, again, very different from Explorer also. You'll see Explorer, there's a huge gap between the third paragraph versus Firefox where it's a little bit closer. Um, it's still a huge gap. And let's see how Chrome deals with the font rendering. And you'll see Chrome is very similar to Firefox. Um, if we just actually tap over, it's not that huge of a difference. But you'll see that each browser will render the exact same font, um, and it's the same typeface as well. You'll see that the size of the font is similar, but they'll render the line spacing differently. So don't get too caught up if you notice that your output is not the exact same as you tab over to different browsers. You are going to have to get a little uh, push and pull when you're going.